Gastrointestinal endoscopy involves the passage of a lighted, flexible, fiber optic tube or instrument through a body opening into the lumen of the gastrointestinal tract. This allows direct visualization of abdominal organs and tissues. Common gastrointestinal endoscopic procedures include esophagogastrodinoscopy or EGD, colonoscopy, and flexible sigmoidoscopy. Prior to an endoscopic procedure, you will first explain the procedure to the client, including the use of sedation and the required positioning. Next, make sure the client has given informed consent and the appropriate form is signed and witnessed. The client should take nothing by mouth or drink only liquids for a specified time, depending on the procedure. If the endoscopy is performed on an outpatient basis, a responsible adult should accompany the client to and from the facility. Following an endoscopic procedure, instruct the client to avoid driving for at least 12 hours. Following an EGD, the client should not eat or drink until the gag reflex completely returns. Also, advise the client to observe for and immediately report any signs of perforation to the primary care provider. Perforation of the upper gastrointestinal tract is signaled by difficulty swallowing, pain in the epigastric area, back or shoulder, vomiting, and shortness of breath. Perforation of the lower gastrointestinal tract is reflected in abdominal pain, distension, rectal bleeding, and changes in bowel elimination. Finally, there are several radiological tests that can play an important role in the diagnosis of gastrointestinal disorders. Upper GI series or barium swallow. The contrast medium is used to visualize the lower esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. It detects gastric ulcers, esophageal disorders, strictures, and tumors. Small bowel series. The contrast medium is used to visualize the small bowel. It detects small bowel disorders. Lower GI series or barium enema. The contrast medium is used to visualize the large intestine. It detects strictures, polyps, colorectal cancer, diverticulitis, and inflammatory bowel disease. Abdominal ultrasound. Sound waves are used to image intestinal organs and tissues. It detects abdominal tumors and cysts and evaluates ascites. Computed tomography or CT scan. This is an imaging study that visualizes differences in tissue densities. It detects abdominal tumors and masses. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. Magnetic energy is used to image blood vessels, soft tissues, and organs. It detects tumors, fistulas, bleeding, abscesses, and metastasis. Ultrasonography or ultrasound. High frequency sound waves are used to image organs and outline structures. It detects cholecystitis, appendicitis, and pyloric stenosis. Gallbladder series. Radiographic visualization is used to visualize the gallbladder. It detects stones in common bile duct, tumors, and obstructions of the gallbladder.